Seven community members now make up the Fargo Police Advisory and Oversight Board. This week, they began their training to prepare them for their jobs of helping foster a bridge between the police and local community. Valley News Team's Erin Walling spoke with one member who shares her reasoning for joining. Having individuals that um, are sort of representative of different groups in our community will help to, to bridge that gap. This is Tanya Graywind. Graywind is an educator, a foster parent, and a member of a Native American family. And she is one of seven members of the new Fargo Police Advisory and Oversight Board. Having that voice, having that ability to communicate with, um, with the public on the behalf of the police maybe, or to, to bring things to, to light, um, will be a really important part that we'll play. She and her other counterparts were picked out of a pool of nearly 50 applicants. This board was formed as a part of the Fargo PD's effort to help improve a community perspective on policies and programs within the department. Giving that chance for the community members to hear maybe in more layman's terms what's happening in the department um, to, to be able to explain to people that may not feel comfortable speaking with the police um, what we've learned and what we're, what we're doing. Over the past few years, there has been tension between the public and the police force. This tension can be seen through numerous groups, including the Native American population. But Greywind, who married into a Native family, says she also just wants to be a voice for those that share that community. Having the ability to communicate with the, um, you know, with the police department, um, you know, with the city, and then having that connection with the Native American community and being able to, you know, either voice concerns that are happening. Um, you know, I think that's more what my role is. In Fargo, Air Walling, Valley News Live.